get snooze back. Back again. Yeah, I'm back. Tell your friends. So, I had a request off at Nake from Twitter. And basically she's asked me to do a little video on Jay and Beyonce's little baby girl. But I'm actually going to talk about the whole pregnancy itself because, as we all know, there was a lot of scandal and a lot of media coverage behind it. Was she pregnant? Wasn't she pregnant? What do you guys think? Personally, I think she was pregnant. Why would you fake your pregnancy? Really, like... Really, for someone who's so private about their personal life and someone who's just so humble and loving and caring and with Jay-Z as well, I don't think someone like that would, you know, just lie about their pregnancy. It's just ridiculous to me. Ignoring all of the whole, oh, she was wearing a dress and it fucking told it over and like, she was pregnant, she was wearing a pillow and she was wearing body suits and... No, forget the bodysuit, whatever. If she wanted to wear the bodysuits, that was fine, you know, you keep your shit looking good and you keep your shit in place and like, hey, but like, yeah, no. I think she was pregnant. Oh, and really quickly, I just want to say I love the fact that she announced she was pregnant straight after the Love on Top performance at the MTV Awards. It was just brilliant. I love the fact that she just had the mic and she was like, pow, and then the jacket, pow, and Jay and... I don't know why Kanye was so happy. He looked even fucking happy. He looked even happier than Jay Z did in the audience. But yeah, I love the fact that how everyone was happy. It was just a really sweet way of just telling everyone. So let's talk baby name. Um, Blue Ivy Carter. What do we all think? Personally, I like the name. I wouldn't say I love it. But it is a really sweet name. Personally, I did prefer Ivy Blue when that was leaked on Twitter. But then, as we all know, Gwyneth Paltrow and Cheryl Cole and Rihanna and everyone were tweeting about the name, saying it's Blue Ivy. It's not Ivy Blue, it's Blue Ivy Carter. Which I still really like the name. It's still really cute, and I can imagine that Little Blue is gonna fit perfectly into that name. She's gonna have a wonderful personality and character and just look beautiful. I like all these morphed images that everyone's posting on Twitter, which is just mean. It's just really mean. Obviously, with everything going on in the media during her pregnancy, her actually giving birth was never gonna be easy. As we all know, there were rumours going around that. Beyonce had bought out the whole fourth floor of this hospital and how members of staff had their mobile phones taken away, security cameras were covered up, there were rumours of takeaway food being brought in, wine being brought in, I mean, she's pregnant, she's not going to be drinking wine. Um, but it was just all a little bit ridiculous and all a little bit far-fetched. I heard great, weird and wonderful rumours, like those rumours I can believe, that doesn't surprise me at all because she's so private about her life but there was so many rumours going around on Twitter and here there and everywhere there was one saying how she was ha having this um, birthing weave made so she could look glamorous when she was giving birth it's like people really need to get lives now just like actually birthing weave really like do you actually think Beyonce has time to be paying people to give her some birthing weave she don't care no one's going to be seeing her no one's going to be seeing her with you know like legs open cooch all out baby going to come out and say hi people looking at her weave no everyone's gonna be looking at the baby Who you, what are you what really are you actually insane like ugh, people just madness people want to start saying stuff about how she had a c-section she was too posh to push excuse me uh, where did um victoria beckham's um criticism go when she had a c-section for practically all of her children and everyone else who's in hollywood and famous and been in films and done music and whatever because they had c-sections and didn't push and they were too posh to push like, excuse me, don't be coming here and, like, dissing Beyonce because she's apparently too posh to push. Everyone else is doing it. Why can't Beyonce do it if she wants to do it? But no, 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 no. She is actually better than your asses. Don't even come here with that because she is better than you. She did push. And according to her press release, that baby was nice and healthy. Good for her, you know. I mean, welcome to the world, baby blue. And... I love the fact that she released this press release because people, all newspapers and magazines were just going in on her and just 
gassed and just you need to take a hot seat with your weaves because Beyonce and her weave, her non child birthing weave, like she might have had a child birthing weave, whatever. But her and her non child birthing weave came out with the press release. Hey hello, hello, baby blue. We are happy to announce the arrival of our beautiful daughter, Blue Ivy Carter. Her birth was emotional and extremely peaceful. We are in heaven. She was delivered naturally 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 you know when you push at a healthy seven pounds and it was the best experience of both our lives you know what hands down i give it to just to j and b because they are just amazing in the way that they do everything in life it's just just you just yeah just and then and then less than 48 hours after she's born jay-z releases his new track glory which oh my days is amazing like actually how you can tell just from listening to the song how he's singing that from the heart and that's just so from the heart and so loving and caring towards um baby blue the fact that he talks about being had a miscarriage in the past and how they're so happy and how they're in heaven and how blue was the best thing that he's ever created you can just tell that that child is going to be so loved and cared for by so many people and Solange just tweets about she's in love and how happy she is to feel what Auntie Hood feels like it's just that it's oh that child is just gonna be the next Beyonce because Beyonce is gonna take that child on some next levels with that Matthew Knowles training shit to get into Destiny's Child and some next thing that kid is gonna be some superstar bring that shit on because I will be there with all my collections of CDs and DVDs that I have Beyonce that you can play with me, boy. I'm, 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 I'm there. I'm there. I'm there. I'm there. I'm not here. So yeah, I'm so happy for Jay and Beyonce. And I'm so happy that their little girl finally come. With Beyonce and all her girl power and, you know, girl standing strong. It is quite funny that the first child that they had was a girl. But one thing I must say was... Gay.